Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am coming at you guys with a new video. There has been another collaboration that has just hit the market. And of course you guys know I'm talking about the ABH and um, Ray Z collaboration. You guys, as usual, I did not know that um, this collaboration was happening until my sister, like always, hit me with it. And at first I was like, no, I'm not getting it. But then I saw, I'm like, hold on, that palette is beautiful. First of all, let me show you guys the packaging. So of course, um, Ray Z has to have the glitter with her name on it in gold. And it is like texture. A little bit of glitter comes off, but this package is gorgeous. And I'm not gonna swatch the shades because I'm sure you guys have seen a shade swatch. There's thousands of videos out there. But look at these colors. And I'm pretty sure the light is doing it no justice. And um, I'm really excited and one thing in particular that I really wanted was the paddle mirror. Now, usually you can only get these on uh, a PR, but she decided to sell the PR package, which was awesome. Now me, I did not know <laughs> that she was selling the mirror, <clears throat> excuse me, and the palette together as one package. So I got the palette early on Instagram, then the next day they were selling the mirrors on the Anastasia Beverly Hills website. So I decided to go ahead and get it because I had to, like I need the whole thing. So I'm gonna try to utilize that mirror in the video today. So let's see what we can create with this palette, girl. So there are many different shades in this palette. I'm not sure exactly where um, I want to go with it just yet, but I think I'm gonna start off with Shemsa, which is the name of her mother. I'm gonna take my ColourPop E1 brush, and I'm going to dust Shemsa throughout my face. Let me grab my hand. hold on, girl. Let's see. And I have on, um, as my base, my um, P. Louise base in number three. Now, just tap in Shimsa there. Let me bring y'all in close. Hold on. Ooh, y'all real close. So just with that little bit that I applied, you guys, Shimsa is super pigmented. And I know a lot of people have been doing looks with the blue <clears throat> and the water line. And I don't know if I want to do that. I actually want to do a look with the blue on um, which is actually called Leo. The name of her husband, if you did not know. So I have Shimsa on my eyes, and now I think I'm going to take New Yorker. I hope I said that right. <laughs> and she said, you know, that's how you say it, New Yorker. So I'm gonna take that to soften up Shemsa. Let's see. I can see it go on, but it kind of like fades into um, the concealer that I have under my brows, which is the Makeup Revolution in the shade C13. It kind of fades into that a little bit. <laughs> just the brush um, that came with the palette that I'm just using to blend out shins up. Next I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics number eight brush and I'm gonna take, um, whew, I think I'm gonna take the shade BK, which is the black that's in the palette, and use that to darken up the edges of my eyes just a little bit. So I'm just gonna, Start off with a very small amount, and then just build it up. Getting pretty intense, so I'm gonna go back in with some more Shimsa just to make sure that I don't lose that shadow. I will say though that this black is very pigmented. I'm really just taking and like dipping my brush in it just a smidge and this is the payoff that I'm getting. So y'all know what we've seen how I'm happy. Okay you guys, now I'm gonna sit the palette down for a second and zoom y'all out a little bit. Hold on. So I'm gonna take my Pila Wee space now in the rumor three and I'm gonna use that to 
trying to carve out this crease here, of course. I'm trying, I'm trying to get this real nice and crisp, so hold on a second. All right, you guys, so my creases are carved out. Now, the hard part. I don't know what I wanna go on with. Kinda wanna go on with Barb, kinda wanna go on with Reezy, kinda wanna play with Leo. Like, it's just too much. We are playing Leo next to Next, I'm gonna take the shade Reezy and apply that right next to Leo. Mm -hmm. Camera decided to cut off, my bad. So yeah, I just apply um, Reezy next to Leo and then I did take a little bit of Cupcake, which is a light purple um, shimmer shade in here and I applied a little bit of that on top just to help from the transition a little better. So next, I think I'm gonna go in with Barb. like a light icy pink and I apply this to the Okay, this looks green. I feel like it looks green and I'm applying it. I thought it was gonna look more like a light icy pink but actually I can see it now. I see this. Let me, let me bring y'all in closer. Okay, I hope that you guys can see the way that Barb looks on my eyes there in the front. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes! So I'm going to take my ColourPop liquid liner and which one is this? Numero Uno, and I'm just gonna do my liner. I don't think I'm gonna do the wing. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my face. So I'm gonna take my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer and apply this on my face. You guys, I've been doing my foundation a little different these days. Um, something that's not as time consuming and I've really been enjoying it. And honestly, as I put my lipstick and everything on, it looks like I have on a full beat. So I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing as of late. Okay, you guys, so what I've been doing is I've just been taking a little bit of concealer. So I'm going to take my Fancy Beauty Concealer, and I'm in the shade 445. Just apply some of this underneath my eyes. And then a little bit. I know that like, this is not new. People have been doing this for a long time. Um, but I'm just now starting to find that it works for me. Then I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I'm in the shade 368. Give this a little shake. And then I'm going to put a dab on the back of my hand. And this is just a small dab. And dab some foundation on the other areas of my face. 
had did this for the first time. Um, before I had went to in and do my clinical rotation because I really need to record a video. So I was like, okay, I need something simple, but I don't want to go into clinical like full, full, full beat face. And it looked really good once I was finished. I was like, okay, don't have on a full face, but I have on a complete face. So I have the foundation. I'm just going to take my beauty sponge, my beauty blender, and just tap it all in. Sometimes I take and apply a little bit more concealer around my mouth and stuff because I'm a little darker in that area. So, a little more concealer in that area. Also, I have been skipping bronzer because the hollows of my cheeks are already dark. Um, so it already looks like I have on like some um, bronzing powder or a natural contour. So now I'm just going to take my Fenty Beauty um, powder and nutmeg and I'm going to put this all over my face just to set my foundation and everything in. I still am very much an oily girl, so I'm going to help on that oil control. So now I'll just take my Baddie lashes in the style Baddie and I'm just going to put some glue on these and some glue on the sides. My BFF4 lippy pencil to line my lips. Then this color pop lipstick in the shade Starling. Now my lashes. All right, you guys, and then I'm gonna take the shade Yugo with just a brown in the palette, not with this brown. Mm -hmm. Taking the shade Yugo, and I'm going to use that on my lower lash line. Did not see the glitter all the way down here, but so good. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade um, Corvina, and then I'm gonna put that as well. That is a pretty, ooh, this is pretty. Cold. You guys know that it's only right that I bring out my um greasy highlighter, girl, like, come on, get with it. So let's just go ahead and take it and just this on these cheeks. Let's set this into place with our Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look. What do you guys think about it? Do you guys love the Amrezi palette? Are you going to get it? Let me know, girl, so I can go check out y'all channel too and see what leaks you create with it. So, yeah, you guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.